Well, the iconic home of the Chicago Tribune getting a makeover as the newspaper moves on. But they're not alone. As the industry itself shrinks and major papers begin to downsize their offices, real estate developers are seizing the opportunity to redevelop the historic former homes of some of the nation's most well-known papers, and they're turning them into luxury apartments. Rogers Healy, an associate's owner and CEO, Rogers Healy is here. Rogers, good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What an interesting trend for the New Year to talk about, taking over an old newspaper, a newsroom, a building, and making it into condos. What do you make of that? I love it. I think it makes a lot of sense. And the thing about these newspaper buildings, by the way, I did my research while reading the newspaper. So uh, <laughs> they're, they're, they're still around, but these places are in great locations. They're really in the bullseyes in cities like Chicago, LA, Dallas, Texas, where we are here, Tampa, Boston, et cetera. So it makes sense. And these places are such large buildings on such large campuses that the developer really, the only way to make it make sense financially is to go and retrofit the current building, the current structure. I was looking at the numbers for these luxury condos. Of course, I'm interested for the yeah. Chicago Tribune building. They're going to start at 900 grand. They're going to go up to $7.6 million. These are going to be very pricey pieces of real estate. Yeah, and it makes sense in a city like Chicago. P people actually live and work in downtown, and they want to go and have their lifestyle surrounded, you know, by by where they live. So, yeah, I mean, ten million dollars is a hefty price to pay, but in a city like Chicago, it's got the numbers to support it. Let's talk about another big trend that we're seeing in real estate, and that is the uh, smart homes. Smart right. homes have been around for a while, but now we're seeing Amazon really put their money where their mouth is, and they're investing in this company. The plant prefab is one example, where it's a pre, it's a you know, it's one of those prefabricated homes that you right. build, and you know, in the U.S., it's about two percent of the housing market. But yeah. that, why do you think Amazon is trying to get technology into prefab homes? Like, what are they saying that we're not? I mean, they're, they're probably just one step closer to taking over the world. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think the prefab thing is still a ways away from actually being a real trend that's going to be sustainable. But, you know, Amazon's making big moves and they've got already, you know, we're surrounded by them, whether with, with our Alexa or with our Ring devices. So, yeah, if they can go and add one more layer to their level of, you know, of significance to our residential market, I, I'm sure it's going to make, make sense eventually. But, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to happen, you know, to where we're seeing it consistently for a few years. I, I wonder, though, because you got to follow what Amazon does, because right. whether it's they worked with TriPoint, Lennar, this plant prefab company, um, and they've got an Alexa fund and that they put almost eight million, excuse me, almost seven million dollars into this kind of idea. And it is it's ring cameras. It's yeah. having an iPad control your entire home. It's having no wires in your walls. I mean, this is really what the what buyers want and i'm sure right. you're seeing that down in texas yeah we're, we're seeing it everywhere and I, and I think that something like that is not a difference maker as far as them making or breaking the deal but it's definitely an incentive and i think right now the the buyers definitely want something to make them feel good but at the end of the day if it's not already done for them they can get this stuff done after the fact for not that much money it's just the convenience factor definitely comes to play mm -hmm. in it and when you put amazon behind it it's got some it's yeah. got some clout for yeah. sure well, I'm a tech nerd, and I love all the technology in homes. Yes, I think it's great. Rogers, uh, you should stick around, by the way, for this next story. We're going to stay in Texas. Uh, Rogers, I'm literally Haley. not leaving. I'm sitting right here. You got it. <laughs> Thanks, Rogers. Happy New Year. Happy I New hope Year. he doesn't have allergies. Okay, stay <laughs> yeah. tuned.